12 Ole Miss. Number two, Georgia takes on number eight, Arkansas, this weekend. Mm -hmm. Way or no way, we will have a new number one and number two on Sunday morning. Who was who was number two? Georgia. They're Georgia. playing Arkansas, who's number eight. And Alabama, who's number one, takes on Ole Miss, who is number 12. No way. No way whatsoever. Like, Alabama could lose by 116 points. Somehow, somewhere, though, <laughs> they, they will they will end up in the top four in the playoffs. They, they could be 2-12 and 12 and still end up in the playoffs. No, no, but seriously, though, the for the SEC, I've been on record saying this many, many times, that they are not the best division in Football this year they have a lot more parity. Alabama seems to be down a a tad bit. Georgia and you know Arkansas, uh, Texas A and M, hell even Kentucky. You know they all seem to be a uh, be a tad bit more up. But there are times in games, Combs, whether it be NFL, college, high school, junior high, fifth fifth grader flag football team, teams names carries warrant. When you go and play Alabama, when you go play a Georgia, just a, just a name alone fears you nine times out of ten. And that automatically gives them a seven point advantage playing whatever team they play. So I don't so there 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 might be a new number one and a new number two, but Alabama and Georgia are still going to be number one and number two at the polls when they come out Sunday night or whatever whenever they come out. I disagree. I think that this year in college football, we don't have a clear dominant team. You saw Alabama and in, in Florida played right up with Alabama all the way to the end of the game right. two weeks ago. Georgia is maybe as close as you can get to a dominant team, but I think Arkansas is going to beat them this weekend. I think Georgia's on upset alert, and I think Alabama's on upset alert. I think both of them two teams lose. I think we've got a lot more parity in college football than we do. And don't think that this is a ploy for me to say Notre Dame is going to slide in there because Notre Dame is sitting at number nine is taking on number seven Cincinnati. And I'm not picking Notre Dame to win this weekend. So th this has nothing to do with that. This has to do with the fact that I think there's a lot more parity in college football. And I think that that's going to trend that way, especially now that they're going to allow players to get paid. I don't think it's going to matter where they go. And I think that it's going to to really even the field in college football. Yeah, and uh, I actually have to totally disagree disagree with you on that 100%. Just because let's think about this. When you think of football, Combs, what conference do you think of? Uh, the SEC. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. So, So with that being said, Players, all like all those five star players that were that were going to be back up in third string on on like Alabama, their freshman sophomore year, and they go to like a, a Clemson or a Florida State. All those players are going to go to Alabama now because they got that Alabama name, they got that SEC conference name behind them, and they got all that uh, what's it the NIF money or whatever. They are able to get paid for the likeness and Facebooks and training and like all that crap. So. Why not sit on the bench, get better as a player, become a number one overall pick or a first round pick, second round pick, and still get paid your million dollars or a brand new car, a new truck? Like uh, hell, the the Kentucky quarterback right now is driving in a brand new truck and a brand new car, and has a pl plan as fitness deal that he just signed, signed, signed with, and he flat out sucks. So it just there is there there is no advantage now of going to a Kansas State as a five-star athlete and you know you might start sure you're still you're still going to be a fifth or sixth round pick you can go to Alabama look, compete have more competition in practice than you do in games and become a number one, number one overall pick and still get paid I mean I, I think well, this helps the SEC and Alabama Georgia LSU more than anything here's why Georgia's on, on upset alert JT Daniels is battling an injury. He's got a lat injury. That's going to hamper him heading into this game. You're right. I, that's going to give, I, I'm just telling you, it's going to give Arkansas the uh, an advantage there. And uh, Ole Miss is just, look, they always play Alabama tough. They always find a way to play Alabama tough. It's a conference game. And I, I, I'm just telling you, 
Both of them are on an upset alert. Now, I say that they're both going to win by 64, <laughs> and it's going to be a moot point. But I think both of them are on upset alert. I, I think there's a lot more parity in college football this year than we've seen in a long time. Yeah, well, and if you guys want a chance to win some free money, be sure to head over to pick'emwars.com. Link is in the description. That's P-I-C-K-E-M-W-A-R-S.com. Sign up for free, and you can pick all the – all these games for free and win real money. Last week, I won $87.50 on Major League Baseball picks. So if I can do it, you guys can. So it's really, really easy.